For more on Syria and how serious its flaws are, we're joined by Gary Morgenthaler, a partner at Morgenthaler Ventures, the very first venture capital investor in Siri. Gary was also on Siri's board until Apple bought the company. So, first of all, welcome back Thank you, to Emily. the show. Yeah. I, 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 th I know your answer to this question, but yeah. you know you've got these headlines out there. Is Siri seriously awesome yeah. or seriously not working? I think Siri is seriously underrated. <clears throat> and first of all, Corey, looking great in the track suit, <laughs> really sharp. Um, and I, and I, I also want to say, tip of the hat to Don Kitlow, CEO, Adam Chire, VP Engineering, and Do Tom Gruber created an amazing piece of technology in three and a half years. Okay, so, well, what's so amazing about it? So, so there are times in history when you see, you see a, a transition and a threshold is crossed. Siri is exactly that. Siri is a, it is a transformational experience in user interface. It's one of three that we witnessed in the last, uh, in the last 25 years. Mouse icon interface, the gestural interface, and now the conversational user interface with Siri in the lead. Once you see it, you understand that, th that this is your new expectation of computing. And what, with that new expectation, you see all that's possible, but it's also very early. What's the last Apple beta product that you've seen? I can't think of one. So Apple's trying to set expectations. I think they've done a wonderful job with this. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's so much better than anything else that's been out there that it's that people resonate with that, and I think that's important. Why would Apple release this be before the bugs are, are, are out, essentially? I mean, this is a company that does not make a lot of acquisitions, yeah. so I, I'm sure yeah. they, they yeah. thought Siri was, they think Siri is special. Well, Siri is incredibly hard technology. People have tried for decades, and, and uh, you know the, the background of this? This is uh, 20... This is $200 million of DARPA research at SRI International, five years, 300 researchers, all well documented. But having said that, it's not perfect in the outset. What is impressive, though, and Corey's got it exactly right, that Siri learns and a massive amount of data is being accumulated and that data can be used and will be used very quickly, anonymized user speech data, to improve the experience. And, and I confidently predict to you that within a year and certainly within two years you will be stunned by how quickly it improves and how much better it is. Let me ask you about the, the way the product works. It's interesting to me that there are sort of two parts to it. There's a the voice recognition and then there's yep. no, the, knowing what to do with that recognition. Where right. is the hardest part in that uh, process? So the speech recognition uh, derives from a company called Nuance. We were working with other investors. We were early investors in Nuance Communications. I served on the board. Um, and Nuance is best of class in speech, speech recognition, but that's really just a part of it. Siri's contribution is in the semantic layer, understanding what you mean, understanding your intent, and taking you all the way to deliver the information that you want, not in a million blue links, but in one correct answer. That's, that's the goal, and that's what you see, is what you see in prospect here. It is it really like intriguing. I, I was, I've been playing with it, you know, this week as, as you witnessed some of that. And like yeah. when I asked it, when's my flight on Friday? It knew to check my calendar entries for Friday. Somehow figuring out that flight and Friday meant that I wanted to know what my calendar was like. Pretty impressive, isn't it? So I, I want to emphasize yeah. when when if, if fundamental new technology is introduced. Um, it, it's early. It's early. The Wright brothers' first flight at Kitty Hawk was 120 feet. Carl Benz drove a motor car 28 miles an hour. Siri is that. Siri is the first entry. Siri is the beginning of the 21st century for human computer communications. It's really that much of a transition. You also say this is the culmination of Steve Jobs' legacy. Yeah. Why do you say that? I mean, obviously, Apple and Steve together have created so many amazing yeah. products. It is. Why yeah. this in particular? Yeah. So <clears throat> Steve had a passion about this. He had a passion for user interface. Apple did not invent but it popularized all three of the major user interfaces, mouse icon, gestural interface, and now the conversational user interface with Siri. So it, this was a personal passion for Steve, and it's his last gift to the world. How is this going to change the future? Yeah. What might be different if this indeed succeeds? Wow, oh, that's a great question. So uh, short answer is everything, uh, and the real question is why. So the first, first point is Apple will extend and improve and, and expand the experience on the iPhone platform. Of that, I think it's, it's un, without question. Beyond that, 
Apple has the possibility to open up the platform, as we discussed last time we talked, to, to 100,000, more than 100,000 developers. If you unleash technology like this to that large a community, there will be a wild proliferation of innovation. And uh, importantly, in the last generation with the release of the iPhone and a gestural interface, what happened was those who didn't adopt it, think of RIM, are left behind. And those who did, think of Android, keep pace with the leader. In the conversational user interface, Apple is the leader. It is the innovator has brought this to market. Yes, it's early. But think about the implications. Think about those implications when 100,000 developers get hold of this technology. And if Google doesn't happen, what happens to Google? Let me ask you real quick. Uh, when you sold the company to Apple, did you imagine that that was the kind of outcome you'd get for this investment? So uh, yes and no. Uh, yes, we imagined that Apple would do wonderful things with it, and they have. What we didn't imagine was that Siri's personality would resonate as much as it has. I think the personality has really caught hold and has created a kind of a, a, a personality cult for Siri. And that, that was unexpected and quite a surprise and, and quite fun. All right, Gary Morgenthaler, the first venture capital investor in Siri. We'll see if everything you said indeed comes well, true. Well, next time, next time. All okay. right, thanks so much All right, Emily, thanks. for joining us.